make or break video. Make or break update. Sorry, I was reading chat. Let's watch this. It's officially been one month since Lost Ark was released in the West, and with that came both ups and downs for the game. Hey there, yep. friends, it's Kodiak here. Welcome back to Legacy Gaming. Today, we're checking out the collaborative update between Smilegate and Amazon, intended to target the numerous pain points currently being experienced in Lost Ark. Okay. This is what's coming out tomorrow. Yeah, this is what's Let's coming out tomorrow. Let's not be around the bush with this one. While I may not be in the tier three crowd just yet, a whole host of players are, including Livid, and many here in the Legacy Gaming guilds. Across the board, there have been frustrations with the entire honing experience, be it the severe lack of sources for progression materials, pay-to-win elements allowing players to dominate the market, and even botting issues making it even more difficult for the everyday player to purchase materials they need. I think that one thing that, that's also true with this is the fact that like a lot of people obviously hit the wall at 1340, but there's a lot of players who hit that wall at, at tier one or tier two because there's just not as many activities that they can do in order to get more materials. And, and I think that like, as soon as you tell somebody that they have to play an alt in order to get more materials, you are going to lose so many people. Like you're gonna lose so many fucking people. Islands? Yeah, I think islands are really important too. Like, yeah, a lot of people probably can just do islands. You're right about that. I think that most people probably stop in tier two. If I had to guess, what do you guys think? I think tier two is where people stop because like tier two, what's like the upgrade in tier two to get from like 14 to 15? It's like 40%, right? So like you're going to fail most of them. I'm just trying to remember because I, yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like 40%, 30%, something like that. Barely made it to tier three. Yeah, people are just going to, they're going to drop off because they're going to get a lot of those islands, right? These are one-time materials. So let's say they didn't get all the materials and they still need to farm out more of them and they realize that they can't do that easily, that's whenever they drop off. T3 is so easy. There's a lot of people that say that. What I'm saying, guys, is that yes, while tier three is easy, you're totally fucking right. What I'm saying is that there's a lot of people who still think that it's difficult because they don't play the game as much as you do. The team over at Amazon yeah, they has acknowledged locked. all of exactly. these things as issues and they are did. sitting down with Smilegate RPG over the next week to take a critical look at these mm -hmm. problems, their roadmap for Western audiences, and how things can be adjusted in the short and long term. Yeah. That's a good thing in our opinion, but as we always say, actions speak much louder than words, and we want to see these things happen before we praise good development insight. And so that's what I'm mainly concerned about tomorrow, because tomorrow is whenever this is actually going to come out, and they're going to add in all these patches, and like, I don't, like, they don't have a PTR for Lost Ark, so we don't even know what they're going to add in. Yeah, we have no idea what they're going to add in yet, so I'm going to have to find out. No patch notes? Yeah, there's no patch notes. And like, really, if they if they bring out the patch notes, fuck. I mean, like, what if what if there's something wrong people don't like? Well, they have less than 24 hours to fix it. It's not going to get changed. Uh, that's all it is. The roadmap's still weeks away. That's okay. If they want to make it take longer, that's fine. Let's pull back. Korea was the PTR? Well, no, because they're changing things on NA to be different than the way it worked in Korea. Like, it, it's not a one-to-one. -one. Curtain just a bit and take a deeper look at what their team is acknowledging as an issue and what fixes they're looking to make. From the start, yeah. the goal of Lost Ark has always been for players to progress at whatever pace they see fit while making the experience along the way fun. That's tier the one idea. and tier two content was always designed as a sort of mid-game prologue for the wealth of end-game tier three content that Smilegate has been developing since the original launch of the game years ago. The Western release was always intended to be an accelerated version of the game, so as yeah, to catch up with course. the other regions, That's what and makes launching sense. the game with content 1370 and above was partially due to player feedback in the closed alpha and beta tests. Now, was that the right move? We're still not entirely sure on that one, but based on the severe lack of players reported to even be in T3 yet, let alone have alts created, that's leaning more towards probably not. One of the well, big- you think about it, right? I mean, being in tier three already, like I, I would say less than 5% of the player base is in tier three, maybe 5% of the player base now is in tier three. I think most players are somewhere around high tier one, tier two. Like uh, most people are somewhere around there. Like that's what I officially 3.3%. Yeah, something like that. Uh, you can check by Steam achievements. Yeah, but people said the Steam achievements were bugged and that's why I didn't check that. But I think 3.3% seems relatively fair. Poll it? No, because see, you're missing out. You're, you're missing the point. Is like polling wouldn't really work in this circumstance because all of the people that are consuming, like think about it. Think about it like this, right? Any game that you're really serious about, you're probably consuming content for that game outside of the game 
but there's a lot of casual players that are probably not watching Lost Ark videos. They're not watching uh, Lost Ark streams. And so you're going to get a higher... Let's do a poll. We will do a poll right now, but I can guarantee you there's going to be a lot of people... Um, what tier are you in Lost Ark? Uh, tier 1, Tier 2, Tier 3. I don't play Lost Ark. Okay, so I'm going to let you guys uh, just do the poll. Yeah, there you guys go. And I can guarantee you there's going to be more people in Tier 3 than 3.3%. I guarantee you. I'll be right back. Okay, so 53% of people in the chat. Isn't that crazy? 53%. Most people here are in Tier 3. Isn't that amazing? Wow, I can't believe that. What a surprise. They're watching Lost Ark content after all. I bet... I bet at least 10% of the people that are uh, that are clicking on this poll probably um, probably are in tier three. Uh, I think probably 10, 20% for sure. It's what makes sense. Biggest complaints has actually been the release of Argos as the severe lack of players in T3, as we just mentioned, has yeah. exacerbated the feeling of the game being pay to win, which at this point it 100% is with whales dominating the in-game economy weeks, even likely months before average players can even dip their toes into that content. Yep. Even Livid is experiencing this problem firsthand, despite having almost 30,000 gold and actively trying to play the market. Gearing his character with items that cost 10,000 gold just to bid on makes it nearly impossible. Jesus. The team claims they never wanted players to feel rushed in their quest to hit item level 1370, and they thought having Argos available near launch would be a good thing, considering how Abyss raids are an important stepping stone to help bridge the gap to content even further. Well, I think having Argos come out early was fine. It's just that they needed to... like. Here's the way I see it. If the change tomorrow actually adds in enough honing materials and enough stuff, I I, I think it'll be fine. Yeah, I, I think it'll be completely fucking fine. Like, it'll be okay. Because if you add in more honing materials, you are effectively increasing the honing rate, even though you're not doing it directly. And I know it's too early. I don't know about that. I mean, it depends. They won't fix 10% rates. Uh, no, they won't, but you don't really get the 10% rates. You don't like, what do you need to get a 10% rate for? Like, what, what are you trying to get to 1420? You don't need that. That's like, those are all like capstone rewards anyway. That's like people complaining about it's, it takes uh, too long to get Paragon, uh, 10,000 in Diablo. 1370 is 10%. 14 to 15 is 10%. Really? Fuck. I forgot. Jesus Christ. Yeah, okay. All right. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, never mind on that one. I rushed through it. Yeah, I know. I had a lot of stuff. Route like Legion raids. This, however, doesn't appear to be the case, and they've openly acknowledged they've made a mistake releasing the March update far I too forgot quickly it went down launch. so low. I thought it went the to like 20. original data predictions projected a much larger portion of the player base having reached that level requirement to challenge Argos by now. Yeah, because they had more stuff. having come to find out, key variables were overlooked that directly influenced it's that brutal. data. Yeah. Being a brand new audience here in the West, the time being actually spent on horizontal progression like islands, collectibles, and more is vastly outweighing the number of players pushing vertical progression. Bots and real money transactions are also causing the price of honing materials to skyrocket. There they are. Locking out players oh even in God. E3 from progressing in a reasonable fashion. There's also just a sheer scarcity of tier three honing materials. A lot of you may not be aware just how mm -hmm. many sources of additional weekly honing materials other versions of the game have to the point where probably 60% is still missing from our version of the game, further compounding the issue. Yeah, that's really what the problem is. It's that you don't have enough materials. If you had more materials, they would be a lot cheaper. That's all it comes down to. Yeah, if you had way more, way more materials, the materials would be cheaper because people wouldn't need as many of them. It's that simple. So it's like if they have a video, sorry, if they if they have a, a system where this happens, it's just going to keep getting worse. 60% missing, no shot. Well, I, I don't know if it's 60%, I, but I don't really have a number in my head because I don't know what everything is or what the reward structures are. Market already crashed. Good. It's time to buy. I hope so. Because of all of that, Smilegate and Amazon want to take the necessary steps to gather comprehensive data directly related to the Western release Crash that will arm. help them make more accurate it, decisions based on play patterns in order to better inform buy, their buy, future buy, content buy the roadmap. Dip. As a temporary band-aid to the issue, they want to shift some of the focus to helping players progress rather than focus on new endgame content. The goal, mm -hmm. provide fun content for players, even if it's at a this higher event level, is so fun. never make players this feel event. pressure that they need to pay to progress. Yeah, this is Maybe awesome. Maybe it's a bit too late considering the issue, but it's good that they acknowledge it.
they also admit they need to be and remain more flexible to the Western audience, an example being reducing the pay to win elements in our version of the game and making it more possible to earn a majority of the content within the game. Yeah. This is something we talked about ahead of launch, but things didn't quite pan out the way we had hoped, and a number of issues have caused the economy to spiral out of control. They still want to push for getting Legion Raids, the definitive Lost Ark rating experience, in sooner rather than later. But they also want That's to what they need to do, is just add, add in that stuff whenever they can. But, like, making it to where, like, this is kind of, like, what the problem is. Is, like, whenever a game gets a reputation, it's so hard for a game to move past that reputation. And this has happened with, like, tons of games before in the past, where, like, it comes out and everybody has an opinion on it. And it doesn't matter what the game does. It doesn't matter what people think. Like, for example, like uh, BFA having a lot of bugs. Like, BFA had as many bugs as every other WoW expansion. Like, it really did. Like, I played every expansion. It had just as many bugs. But people still called it beta for Azeroth. Because it was, number one, it, it fit, right? It felt good to say. And uh, also, it's just... It, it, it's like people just have that uh, that bias. That's all there is to it. Uh, that's what it is. Take into account no Man's Sky's that players need to feel confident yeah. in their ability to reach and tackle these complicated challenges. Yeah, people With won't give you a second chance. Of the community barely reaching Argos, mainly those that paid their way to the top, something is off, and the team admits that. Because, like, this is what happens, right? Is, like, the first players that get there, like, everybody else, there's people that are, like, in Tier 1 right now, or, or like, they're level 57, or, sorry, 47, and or they're thinking about playing the game, and they hear what's happening in the game, and they don't want to take the first steps, or they don't want to continue playing because they know where it will lead to. And, and I think that there's a lot of people, like, with MMOs, it's so important to make people feel like it's worth investing all of that time. Why should they? Exactly, right? Why should they? If they feel like the end result is going to be pay to win. The, the reason why I think a lot of people are excited about Lost Ark, and especially before it came out, right? Which is why people, a lot of people, like, wanted to play it, is because of the idea that it doesn't ha it has these features but they're not like it's not make it or break it it's like this is just extra meantime a big shift to horizontal content will yeah. take place meaning new locations people like can't think for themselves uh, i want to say like it, that's not actually i don't think that's true because people have to they they have to have some frame of reference for what's happening right i mean you have to know to some level it's like hmm like what is real what's not real yeah i mean you have to have something to to base what you're saying off of yeah people uh like you can change sentiment at the game at a large scale people like oh i can i mean like yeah sure like i can change sentiment for a game but like i'm only going to be able to do that so much like for example i like new world a lot i think i think it's a fun game uh, I mean, obviously it needs to have a lot of changes, but like that's, I can say that all day and it's not going to make my chat like New World. So like it's a give and take where obviously a content creator has to, like a content creator can influence people's opinions, yes, but at the same time, it's not like a, if the content creator says this, everybody believes it. Yeah, it's to an extent. South Vern being released, new islands, and bringing in more of the new classes other regions have access to. This yeah. is good, and honestly, this should have been the focus from the start. Nothing feels worse than wanting to play a class that has no tangible release date, all the while investing in a class that you aren't exactly excited about Imagine playing. not playing a As Berserker. As a result, a comprehensive look at their content God, roadmap sad, for April and May will be unveiled in the near future once their week of in-studio collaboration has concluded. They want to make sure that as they release new content, new classes that complement the content will also release alongside it. And we're all for that. Now, up until this point, we've talked a lot about honing. So let's dive into yeah. that quickly and talk about the economy of the game. Amazon has acknowledged there is major player concern around honing and the frustrations with failing and constantly being without materials to try again most of the time. Yeah, I think if people could just farm the materials out more easily, they would be okay with it. I think what happens is people save up a lot of materials and they go through them and now they don't have any other, they don't have like a next step. It's like, okay, well, I did this, now what? Or I did this, now what? Because they can't just go and do that. Like, that's what the difference is. Infinite chaos? Well, I don't really know. I mean, I think that you just need more options. Like, not infinite. I feel like infinite's probably not the best option. But uh, just giving people more options is better. And that's what they're doing tomorrow, which is a good thing. While we're well aware a huge portion of this is due to the lack of most endgame material sources, yeah. they've pointed to more immediate reasons, such as the botting issue that have inflated the economy and a distinct lack of alt characters being created 
to help feed main characters. Well, that's because people like, I, I think that's a dog shit system. I've always said that's dog shit. Like having to play another character in order to feed your main character. I think that if that's the way that you're supposed to play the game, a lot of people just don't want to do that. Like I, I know I don't. I, like a lot of people just want to play one character and invest directly into that. Like I have like now I, I made the gun lancer and so yeah we'll do maybe a little bit of that stuff right I put some stat some some uh, little uh, items on them but I don't really know what I'm doing alter fun though um alter fun like I think that alts are fun but I also don't think they should be mandatory I, I think that a lot of things become less fun once they become mandatory yeah play uh pay your character not playing your character yeah exactly some people make the same class as alts. Yeah, but then the other class doesn't have as much like as much good gear. They have to re-gear that character again with like different honing materials. It's just like, yeah, I just don't want to. I, I, it's just it's just like it, it's a headache. Alts feel forced. Yeah, like I don't want to have to play an alt. Like maybe that's how they do it in Korea, but that's not how I'm doing it. Now, the botting issue has been actively pursued Shouldn't and be has mandatory. been since it's launch, not, but, but it more and is. more keeps bringing up. One solution has been the removal of early game gold sources, which has resulted in a steep decline of bot activity. Yeah. Both Livid and I have personally seen these bots begin to pop up in more end game locations. So that's an issue that's still not fully under control, but they are working on it. Well, As you're gonna have like, this is the truth, is that there is an acceptable amount of bots because like you're always gonna have bots in a game. You're always gonna have cheaters. So it's like, what is the acceptable number of bots before it's like, okay, this is as good as it's going to get? Because you're always going to get people that, you know, they get in through the radar, they're using some fucking bullshit, and they're cheating, right? I think 1%, like, I'm thinking like 0.1%, because even 1% is a massive fucking number. Like, think about 1% of, of, of all the people in the game are just injecting money into the economy constantly. Like, that's huge, man. For the honing material issue, they will supply much more progression material for players to earn yeah. through fun in-game events and injecting more gold into the mid and end-game content. Next week's update will also provide additional Grand Prix honing rewards, such as the addition of tailoring and metallurgy books to assist with honing attempts, yeah, as that's well gonna as help increasing out a lot. the number of event points earned. They'll also be detailing a new Guardian Raid focused event in the next week's update, where the scale of balance will be applied to change all the character stats to match a Guardian's level, adjusting the difficulty yeah. to match the number of raid participants. You'll be able to participate once per day per roster in an attempt to earn new event specific coins to spend on even more honing rewards from a brand new vendor. Season one of competitive PVP will- Which is like, that's what they really have to do, is more stuff like that is what people really want to see. Yeah, that, that's, in my opinion, the most important thing to have. I think you'd be surprised by a T3 number. I just hit 1385, and I'm doing Argos P1 and P2 tonight. Yeah, I, I think, I, I've, as I said, I think that less than 5% of the player base is in Tier 3. Yeah, less than 5%, if I had to guess. But I think a lot of people watch that 5%, and then they base their investment on the game off of that 5%. So, like, they see somebody who's in Tier 3, and they're having this problem, and they think to themselves, well, why should I even get to Tier 3? I'm just going to have that problem. Like, that's what I think happens. Also released in next week's update, providing a new source of weekly honing materials, as well as other mm -hmm. rewards. A heads up to anyone that didn't know, you can start playing matches now to earn the PvP respective tokens, while also ranking yourself up to tier one, a requirement to enter competitive matches. Finally, let's talk about free gifts. We all love free stuff, yeah. right? Players in Korea recently received in-game items to commemorate the launch in the West, and it looks like the Western players will also be receiving these items. This includes a new animal skin selection chest, a Makoko non pet selection chest, Makoko board mount selection Thank chest, God. Lost Ark United structure, Thank the God. change ticket, 132 this is what peons, five Menelix tomes, two legendary card selection chests, and jukebox songs that will be provided when jukebox content is released sometime in the future. Yeah, that's great. I, I think all these things are really good. Like just adding in more of this stuff. Yeah, free fucking content. Like, I do think they really need to rebalance this Phanon system, this Phenon system. Like, it's just, I feel like it is a, um, it sucks. Like, yeah, it just, it, it's just sucks. Like, I don't want to have to deal with it. it. It's nonsense. Yeah, it's like if it didn't exist, like, I understand why it exists. It's to prevent, like, uh, you know, flipping things and stuff like that. But it's just, 
I, I just don't like it. I think they should just deal with that another way. Sure. One important thing to be aware of so you don't make the mistake when receiving these rewards, do not use those legendary card selection mm -hmm. chests until you know what legendary cards you need Man, down expensive. the road. Yeah, As probably. you get into the end That's game content point. yet to be released, certain card sets are a must have and a lot of those are locked behind specific legendary cards. Wait until you know exactly what you need so you're not at the mercy of months of bad RNG. Look, it's no secret yeah, the Amazon and Smilegate those. teams are digging themselves out of a hole they created here in the West. The game is still wildly popular, with hundreds of thousands of players playing every single day, but changes have to be made if they want to keep the player base engaged. We've yeah. seen popular streamers and content creators call out some of the flaws and balancing issues, I wonder who but that I will is. say the communication is a nice change of pace. Most AAA developers... Oh, take it is, absolutely. Like, they, uh, the fact that... I think the fact that they literally just address what people think about the game rather than trying to like sugarcoat it or something like that implies that they actually care about making the game better. Because like a lot of times these companies will just not do that and they'll just say like, hey, yeah, this is what it's going to be or whatever. Like, yeah, it's a good thing. I think so too. You just log in and see starting zone to see those players. All right, I'll go over to the starting zone whenever I log in and we'll see weeks yeah, if they not just months say to address it. these concerns and at this point we know things are on the radar it doesn't excuse issues like the clocks being broken for multiple days due to daylight savings time but with bigger issues yes, on the table just knowing that these issues are being taken seriously is a small comfort that being said and as we've said before Ooh. actions speak louder than words and the clock is ticking for both teams to take the necessary steps to keep lost ark relevant here in the west as always, friends, we've been having a great time making Lost Ark content for you. So if you would do me a solid and hit that thumbs up and consider subscribing, we'll continue to bring you new Lost Ark content on a regular basis. If you are on US East Regulus and you want to be part of the largest Lost Ark guild in North America, you can join one of our 30 legacy Bro, gaming like my guild. guild Check out the Discord like, link below and sign up. We still have only like 40 people in the guild. Uh, it's my so name bad. Is Kodiak, and from everyone here at Legacy Gaming, thanks for watching and play on. Is yeah, I, I think this is generally, uh, it's generally true, Lost right? Ark relevant. Like, I, I do think, I think generally, like, this is what the main concern is that a lot of people have, is that they don't want to invest a lot of time into the game, because if they invest a lot of time into the game, they're going to run up against this wall, and it's going to frustrate them. That's that's what I think the main the main issue is, and the main thing that people are worried about. Because again, like MMOs are built so much around like player investment and shit like that, that if you don't have that, it's just not gonna, it's just not gonna go anywhere. And I think it is a lot of it, like straight up, a lot of it is personal perception, like people's personal perception of things, and it's sometimes even wrong. Like, and this is another factor that like might make people mad, is it sometimes you can be wrong and things can be wrong and it doesn't even matter because enough people believe it and then it just becomes true because enough people believe it. it's like a hive mind you know what i mean let me read a few of these and put it on some pension to get our bread the updates this is a nice way to just see it as a whole i'm still enjoying the game i can see how some of these things could end up being frustrating exactly and i think people see those frustration points and it's demotivating uh that's basically what it is 120 hours completely addicted to Elden ring now the thing is like i I, I'm just glad that I have a game, like multiple games to play, period, man. Because, like, for the longest time, like, after New World came out, like, I had nothing to do, man. Like, I, I played New World a lot, and then I kind of, like, ran out of things to do in New World. It's, like, great. Because I can do my stuff in Lost Ark. I can go play Elden Ring. And there's, like, no real, like, I can get all my Lost Ark activities done in, like, a few hours. It's not even a big deal for me. Or, like, maybe a few hours. Like, really, like, one hour, I'm done on my main character unless I want to do a bunch of other stuff. So, yeah, that's it. <laughs> New World content. <laughs> Little emote of the <laughs> axe in a tree. <gasps> Look, it's true, but it was, a, it was fun, man. Yeah, it was a lot of fucking fun. I love that shit. PvP isn't as popular as people think it is in, in an MMORPG. People that want good PvP are already playing League, or they're already playing Valorant, or they're already playing uh, COD, or something like that. PvP in MMOs is always a paradox. And, and the reason why PvP in, in MMOs is a paradox is because MMOs are fundamentally built around consistent player progression, and PvP is fundamentally built around uh, a fair environment. So you can't have a case where you do, you have both of these. You see what I'm saying? And, and like you make everybody happy. Because like most of the time, like what I'm assuming is like the Lost Ark PvP is probably decent. 
but it doesn't have the nuance and the depth to it as a game like League of Legends would have. So a lot of the people that would be interested in Lost Ark PvP would probably also go and play League of Legends instead. Do you see kind of what I'm saying? Because it plays basically the same. It's pretty good. Yeah, I, I think that, sure, it, it's decent enough, but like it's never going to be as good or as well-balanced or as, or as good to play as a game that's built for PvP. Like, and, and so wrong? Well, how am I wrong about this? If you go and you look at the amount of people that are consuming PvP content in Lost Ark, and it's a fraction of a percent. And even in their own poll, most people aren't even doing PvP. How can I be wrong? This is evident. It's, it's, it's evident. Like, it, that's all there is to it. Like, what else is there to say? You're wrong because you never tried PvP in Lost Ark. It's nothing like League. Um, it's nothing like League. If I look at Lost Ark PvP and I look at League, it looks like pretty much the same thing. Like, it's got the same general movement scheme. It's generally the same type of idea. It's the same as, like, a, uh, like Halo is generally the same thing as Call of Duty. No, of course it's not the same thing. But it is relatively the same thing. And this is what I've said before, right? It's like a lot of people are question marking me for this. Very wrong. Yeah, it's an isometric click-to-move game. Is it not? Is it not? It is. It's an isometric click-to-move game. And it's the same as League, it's the same as Dota, and it's just an FPS. So a lot of people that are interested in competitive content are going to play a game that's developed and derived around competitive content. They're not going to play a mini game inside of an MMO. That's the same problem that WoW PvP has had. Yeah, you're just generalizing? Well, if I'm not generalizing the, 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 the player base. This is, this is true. Look, look, I'll go right now. Let's, let's look. Let's look right now before I play the video. So who's um who's doing PvP here? Who's watching PvP content? I think this might be one person. Right there, it's hard to say. Most people are not. Like the, the vast majority of people are consuming PvE player content. You see what I'm saying? Ranked isn't out. What do you think ranked is gonna come out and now everybody's gonna want to watch PvP content? What does ranked really change? There's a number next to whenever you win or not? It's the same game. The entertainment value is the exactly the same. Nothing changes. Yeah, nothing changes. Like, yeah, nothing. There's no balance patch. There's nothing. You, you'll see. You'll, you'll listen. Like, you guys are arguing with, with, with a, with a, with a number. I, I want to. I want you guys to understand this. Like, you're not arguing with me. You're arguing with a number. The number says you're wrong. So don't get mad at me. I'm just saying what the number says. Clip it and show it one week later. Yeah, let's do that. Let, let's wait and see how things go in one week. I think that's the best idea. Coming from someone who hasn't even tried PvP, why, what, what would me trying PvP, what insight would that give me? Would you say 41.5% is a, is a broad number? Yeah, I, I would assume so. I, I don't think... Do you really think that... <laughs> read this. Do you really think 20% of people are going to go for Grandmaster? I mean, of course not. Preseason WoW uh, gets less versus to be honest. Not saying PvP will be a content goldmine, though. It's just, it's repetitive, man. It's one game mode. Is it the PvP in Lost Ark pretty much just fucking uh, Team Deathmatch? A am I wrong about that? Yeah, we're, there's three game modes. Okay, that's good. Yeah, look. H here, uh, we're, we can argue about this a number of different times. This is what I'm going to say. Clip this in one week. Adding in ranked PvP will not make the game that much more popular. PvP that much more popular. PvP in MMOs is just never really going to be as popular as PvP in a PvP-focused game like League of Legends, CSGO, Valorant, something like that. These games, the competitive players will always gravitate towards those games and not MMOs. MMO PvP has always been a niche and it will never be a big deal or a big thing the same as it was back in Wrath of the Lich King. It's just not going to happen. And and I, I don't... The thing is, if, if like, let's say I'm wrong. Well, that's fine. I've admitted that I'm wrong before. That's okay. But I don't think I'm wrong. Of course, we're talking about how similar they are in gameplay. All right, all right. Okay, all right. I, I feel like we're going back and forth on this a whole lot. So, moving goalposts. Yeah, people are moving goalposts. Like, it doesn't matter how similar they are. It, they are visually similar. The, the, these things are visually similar for a viewer. Like, it's just... It's that simple. And also Lost Ark PvP, like I, I can get into this. Oh my God, it, it, people just don't understand this at all. 
Oh my God. Comparing PvP with League of Legends, it just isn't the same at all. Yes, it is. They're both isometric, quick to move games. They're both isometric, quick to move games. What do you think somebody like fucking Faker would be better at playing? Uh, fucking uh, Lost Ark PvP or CSGO? He's going to obviously be better at Lost Ark PvP because it has the same general way of working. How can you be that fucking stupid to not understand that? How, what, do you think a CSGO player is going to have a better job getting into League or uh, fucking Lost Ark versus going over to Call of Duty? It is the same general principle. Of course it's different. Of course it's different in so many ways. But on a fundamental level, a lot of the similarities exist. It's not hard. Getting one guide? No, there's a lot of people that don't fucking understand this. Missing a point, people don't want their game associated with another game. It's tribalism, chill out, you're getting baited, they will do it, could you get mad? I think so, people are just being stupid. Like, I'm completely right about this, and any reasonable person with any bit of logic would immediately see that. 